Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing an oil change on the Smart. Now, this is one of the easiest oil changes I think you guys will ever see, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Now, the car's just warming up, I'm just letting it idle. Get some temperature in the oil, because the only way you can uh, change the oil on this is with an extractor, um, which is one of my favorite methods of changing oil anyway. We've done it on the, uh, the Wrangler and also the Volvo, so um, yeah. I already had the kit to do it. You can pick them up anything from 20 quid to 100 quid, uh, depending on how much um, you wanted to extract. Uh, I got a six and a half litre one for the Volvo um, and the Jeep as well. So the two and a half litres of oil in this Smart will be no issue for it at all. We should only remove two litres with this and then the other half should come out in um, the fuel fil the oil filter housing so just gonna do oil and filters spark plug will be a different time um, and if we've got time we'll do the air filter as well i actually got some stuff to do this morning but um yeah let's get straight on i think it's probably warm enough now we've got at least one blob um just make the oil flow easier uh, make the, the extraction process quicker so um let's get to it so for those of you that don't know uh, the engine of the smart is in the boot underneath the floor so i'm just going to prop the cabriolet roof up yep this is a rear engine german convertible um oh yeah so just move that out the way and then our engine is located in here nice and easy to get to now we've got oil and dipstick there um air filters over here so it shouldn't be a difficult job it shouldn't be a long job to do either okay then so here we are the beating heart of the beast um and you may notice this one looks a little different to standard ones it's because it's got an lpg system fitted um so on most smart cars a lot of this pipe work isn't here um but that's okay it doesn't affect what we're doing over here so first thing we're going to do is get the oil extractor sorted so all we need to do is just get you guys on a steady platform grab our suitable hose i'm gonna go for a thinner one because it's only a little uh little dipstick um attach the end here oh without knocking the whole lot over easier said than done there we go and now we're going to pull the dipstick onto the car We'll set that down just there for now. We'll feed our extractor in. Now, you don't need to ch shove it in too far. Um, what you can do is shove it in too much and it will, um, like that, and it will stop sucking basically because um, it curls round. So all we're gonna do now is give the extractor a few pumps to get that pressure so it starts sucking out the oil and there you go look it's coming out nicely up the tube so it should take five minutes or so just to all come out there we go like so um, so now we're just gonna wait now until that's all um, Till it finishes basically you know it's finished because it starts to sort of make a gurgling sound as uh, so in the meantime we'll start on the air filter so for this we've just got um, a couple of clips here no special tools required really and that should pop off like so we can get it around the uh, LPG wiring harness there we go. So that looks a different, little different to what I thought it was going to look like. Because um, that's not what I've got. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the oil is running low, so we've got some air coming through. Um, we've had nearly two litres out, so I'm just going to adjust the tube. There we go. So what's happening is essentially the, the tube's going in and going round like that. So um, the, the end is above the water level. So 
all you do is just adjust it to really get all the sludge and rubbish out of the bottom of the sump. Just slowly put it up a bit at a time. Every time it starts to do that, and when it that trick no longer works, that's when the car's empty. Okay, so now you join me underneath the smart. I'm just gonna find a place to put you guys. There we go. We're gonna remove the oil filter housing now. Now this is a 27 mil socket. And I have made a little That might not be nice. That makes a lot more sense. I made a little funnel. Catch the um, oil that's going to fall out. Because it will do. It'll start to leak out. As we break the seal on here, unless I've done an excellent job. Ah, ah, here we go. Ease it off slowly. There we go. Just like that. We're going to let the. Oh dear, that's gone awfully, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so filter was wrong. Uh, thank you Amazon. It was Amazon's recommended one. Um, put the reg in and everything and it should give you the correct spec filter. But it's too big, so I've had to put the old filter back in, which isn't ideal. Um, I'm obviously going to have to fill it with new oil, but fortunately I've bought the 4 litres of oil. This car takes 2.5 litres, so I only need to buy another litre or so for it to do another oil change. Um, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to fit the new, um, or fill, fill the car with the new oil. Um, and see how we get on. I've got my little filter, uh, which, or not filter, a funnel, um, which is the excess off of the capture um, that I made. So that's ideal. We've just got some Castrol 5W30. Um, you can use all sorts of different oils in this car. Um, I think that the recommended spec was 10W40, which you can't get in the UK at all anymore so they say it's absolutely fine to run 5w30 because of the climate we live in um, but just gonna change it more often really um, it's cheap for this car I think the whole service kit um, including the two filters that weren't the right ones thanks Amazon um, was 56 pounds so the oil itself was 30 quid so not much of an issue at all so just gonna start pouring sideways ease her in there we go Oh Jesus, that was close. That sums up how this oil change has gone, to be honest. I want to stick about half of this oil in. So that's about one and a half litres. Was it two? Actually, that's two litres gone in now. So uh, just a little splash more. And start the car up and then set the level. There we go. Like 
so now what's cool is you can see all the timing change and everything in there um which is pretty cool so now that's in uh, we'll stick the cap on and start the car to see how she likes her new oil semi new oil because um, i'm gonna have to redo the oil change on i thanks to uh, that's rubbish um or completely wrong fuel filter oil filter now that definitely sounds a lot better a lot smoother uh, which is good um still a bit annoyed about the whole thing but yeah this thing happened so um, i should have checked and i just assumed that because it's a smart car they're fairly simple um, amazon have the right spec stuff but um it's not an issue and um, we can always uh, fix it so um yeah there we go car's running nicely um did spill a bit of oil so i'm gonna have to get some sand and uh, sort that out but um car seems to be running much smoother um we're gonna have to redo this in a week or so to replace the filter but for now um i'm a bit happier knowing that there's some better oil in there than there was because it's pretty dark horrible stuff it's all similar to diesel oil um, so God knows how long it's been in there. It's only got 44,000 miles on, but um, we wouldn't be surprised if it hadn't been serviced during that time. So, uh, yeah, oh well. Um, so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.